Hi everyone, uh, my name is Marion Scott uh, and I'm a Professor of Environmental Statistics in the School of Mathematics and Statistics in the University of Glasgow. The big challenge I think is that climate change is such a general term and for me it touches in so many different aspects, things like biodiversity and the loss of species and so on, or extreme weather and flooding and droughts. Um, so it's a very kind of complex topic and the words climate change um, perhaps underplay how important this is in all aspects of our life. I'm a statistician so I work with data and, and data underpins lots and lots of aspects of climate change and it's very very important that we understand what the climate records um, that we have are telling us. So data can tell us about what has happened in the past, it can tell us about what the current situation is now and with some modelling it can also begin to tell us about what we think might happen in the future. My work in, in that regard is much more focused on building the evidence base um, in terms of thinking about how much change there has been. Scotland is a hydro nation and the Scottish Government are very proud of that fact as, as we all are. And there's an ambition and a recognition that in that regard we can help um, deliver to the world um, smart, sustainable solutions for clean water, um, for managing just basically water resources. And, and one of the, the projects I've worked on most recently was a project called Global Lakes, um, which was led in Scotland. And it was a global project funded by um, the Natural Environment Research Council, looking at long term historical records of water quality in more than 1000 lakes around the world and trying to understand how water quality had been changing over um, a long period of time. I would argue that um, some of the skills in Scotland that we have here in terms of data analytics and data science are absolutely key across all of the aspects of climate change. The statistician would argue that probably one of the key defining features of all of our work is quantifying and describing uncertainties. The evidence that we have um, is very strong, but it's not in a situation where I can say 100%. Um, it absolutely, everything that has changed is solely down to climate change. As I referred to in my previous answer, there are other things changing at the same time. So in a kind of statistical sense, we're always attributing the different effects. And so there's always an element of uncertainty in the size of the effect. I suppose a good outcome would be a concerted will to globally work together to tackle um, climate change and all of its ramifications. Scotland has a, a large number of universities full of very bright people training very bright young people um, and I think that um, in that respect it would be really good to see COP26 also if you like bringing together the power of the educational institutions around the world where again Scotland can play its part. <laughs>